Hi you guys, it's Mrs. Leuse. I am showing you how to do your place value of the day packet. So you'll want to make sure you put your name on the front cover and you can put your number here as well. Okay, so you guys are going to be doing the place value of the day packet every Monday. I might put it in some other days while you're home as well. Please keep hold of this packet until it's time to turn it in. If you lose it, you need to let me know as soon as possible so I can replace it. This is going to be a graded packet as it, is, as, it, as it is review of place value. So when you open it up, you're first going to see a place value chart. Just to kind of remind you that um, place value is very important. It's all about how we read and write numbers. Here is a chart for you. It goes all the way from up in the millions all the way to the thousandths. So we have an example of all of the places and where they belong, what they're called. And then we talk about how each place in the chart has its own name and value. As you move up the place value chart from right to left, the value gets bigger. It is 10 times bigger each place value. So the 2 is 10 times bigger than this 7. Um, this 3 is 10 times bigger than this 0. It's 10 times bigger because you're jumping up a place value chart. It doesn't have really anything to do with the actual digit. So example, the 7 is 10 times greater than the 4. This 7 is 10 times greater than this 4 because it is up a place value chart or up a place value spot on the chart. And the same thing as you move down. If I go from left to right, the values of each number get smaller and each one is 10 times smaller or we could say it's one tenth of the digit. This four is one tenth the value of this seven. This six is one tenth the value of this four. That was a place value lesson we did at the beginning of the year. I know it's been a while, but I just wanted to explain that to you because you will be working on that in your packet. So every single page looks like this. You'll have a certain decimal or number to be working with, and you're going to go through and answer all of the questions. So I'm going to go ahead and do one with you. This is the only one that I will do every single one with you on this page. Next time, I will tell you which number to do, and your assignment will be to complete the entire page. If you are struggling with this, you need to ask me for help when I offer it during our Zooms or in class. You need to ask me for help. This is very important. My expectation is that this is easier for you. If it, you find that it's not easy, it's time for me and you to sit so we can go over it so it can become easy for you so that you understand it. Okay, here's our number. Five and 79 hundredths. It says write the number in word form right here. So we're going to write it out. We're going to write five and the and stands for the decimal. Seven D nine hundredths. Okay. Um, round the number to the nearest. So you're going to round it to the ones, tenths, and hundredths place. Round it to the nearest ones. Find the digit sitting in the ones place, which is a five. Look to the number to the right of it. It happens to be a seven. A seven is five or more, so we knock on the door and the five rounds up to a six. Now round the tenths place. The seven is sitting in the tenths place. Let's look over to the right. To the right of it is a nine. That's five or more, so we knock on the door and the seven becomes an eight. We need to still include the five in the decimal and then this changed to an eight. Everything to the right goes away. The hundredths place. What is sitting next to the digit in the hundredths place? It's a zero. It's an imaginary zero. So this nine, if I look over to the right and it's a zero, it's four or less. We let the nine rest. So this number stays the same and these will be included. Five and seventy-nine hundredths. All right, now let's go ahead and write it in expanded form. So starting on the left, the first digit, it's a 5. And I'm going to multiply it times a 1 because it's sitting in the 1's place. Plus, now we have the numbers in the decimal area, so we need to add parentheses. The digit is a 7. And then I multiply it by what place it's in. It's in the tenths place, and we write that as a fraction, 1 tenth. Plus our next digit, which is a 9 times one hundredth because it's in the hundredths place. And that's how we expand our decimal number. Let's go ahead and jump over here. So multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. 
What's wonderful is that we can use our zeros trick. Remember, when we're working with powers of 10 and we have a decimal, all we need to do is move the decimal. When we multiply, our numbers get bigger. If it's going to get bigger, that means when we multiply, our decimal always moves to the right. So if I multiply by 1 power of 10, which is 1, 0, my decimal is only going to move once. So it becomes 57 and 9 hundredths. If I multiply by 100, there's two zeros, so it's going to move twice. So it becomes 579 decimal. If I divide, the opposite thing happens. The decimal moves to the left because my, um, whenever you divide, your number gets smaller. So if I divide by a 10, my decimal moves to the left once. So it's decimal 579. If I divide by 100, it's going to move twice, once, twice. Now, what's sitting here? An imaginary zero. So my answer is decimal 0579. Let's jump over here and compare it. I already wrote in the decimal for you, and we're going to compare it to this decimal. Remember, we lead, read this left to right. 4 and 812 thousandths is what compared to 5 and 79 hundredths. We can only compare digit by digit. These are both sitting in the ones place. This is a 4. This is a 5. I know that 4 is smaller than 5, so my symbol is going to say less than. Let's go ahead and go to here. This is the lesson that we're reviewing that I think was a little hard last time when we did this chapter. It says, how many times bigger is the digit in the ones place compared to the digit in the tens place? So I'm letting you know it is bigger. It's how many times bigger if it's only one place value over. It's only one spot. If it's one spot over, it's 10 times bigger. How many times smaller is the digit in the hundredths place compared to this digit in the tenths place? Well, it's only one spot over, but because it's smaller and it's in the decimal area, we say it's one tenth. Okay? All right, now we're at the bottom. It says, name the place and the value of the following digits. The five is in the blank place. The value of the five is blank. All right, so the five is right here. It's in the ones place, so I'm going to write ones. And the value of the five is just five, because it's in the ones place. The seven is in the tenths place. And the value of the seven is seven tenths. Okay, so be careful with that. Seven tenths. We're going to write it as a fraction. It's worth seven tenths. And that's how you would read this fraction, seven tenths. The 9 is in the hundredths place. And the value of the 9 is 9 hundredths. So 9 over 100. And that's it. That is all you guys are doing. And you'll be repeating this with each new decimal of the day. And it's called place value of the day because we're focusing on these place value skills that were taught in Chapter 1. And we don't want to forget these. Again, if any of these skills are confusing you, you need to ask me on Zoom when it's time and in class so that I can go over it with you and help you. This is a great review practice so that these skills stick with you to help you move on, okay? All right, you guys, if you need anything, let me know. Otherwise, today your assignment is just to complete this page. Obviously, I went through it with you. If any of the parts were confusing, rewatch the video and then ask me for help.